This week is Alzheimer's Awareness Week. We'd like to acknowledge all those people out there supporting a family member with the condition, including members of our team. Kate Clark was diagnosed with Alzheimer's when she was just 52 and at the top of a successful career. She's retired now, but that hasn't left Kate with time on her hands. She's on the board of Alzheimer's New Zealand and keeps a full diary. Right. Monday. You're meeting me at four. Mm -hmm. I've got a function from five to seven. Well, I've got tennis at six. And, and then you're going to Robbins. Have you got anything Thursday night? Oh, no. Well, you're on your own. Is that right? Yeah, I'm just about here. And there's chicken in the fridge anyway. Kate was a mediator for the Employment Relations Service when she began finding it hard to remember what was said. I didn't write when I started doing mediations. I just did them with people and then, you know, wrote my notes at the end. Well, um, as time went on, I was writing down as I was talking to people. And at the beginning, that sounded fine. You know, it was just a good way of keeping a note of what you were doing. But then it got to the point where I thought, this is... There's something strange, but you, you have no idea what it is. So stress and um, could be menopause or any of these things, you know, I sort of went through everything. And the neurologist put you through how many months? Must have been about Wasn't four or five months of testing. Um, no, they... no, no, it wasn't testing at that point. It was going through different what it could be. Yeah, but they were they were giving you CAT scan and they gave you a lumbar punch yeah, and they so yeah, were testing it. All it. Of these. And what they were really doing was trying to exclude everything else. Was it a tumour? Was it this? Was it that? Because you don't really get a diagnosis of Alzheimer's. What you get is that's the only explanation left. Mm. Kate found it very hard to resign from the job she loved, but now works on keeping as well as she can. There's a great assumption that when you're faced with a situation like this, you will become the carer. Um, and I think what we want to do is we want to maintain our marriage. It doesn't mean I won't be a carer, but it doesn't replace the primary relationship, which is husband and wife, and lovers, partners, um, and best friends. I, I just knew that the rest of my life was going to be very, very different from what it had been. That's very hard to sort of get to grips with and to turn around and, you know, think how can you make your life as good as it was or how can you make it good with something that at that point I knew very little about. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> There's a lot of stigma around people who have Alzheimer's and a lot of people see it as... Um, you're in a home, um, you can't get out, you can't walk, you can't talk, um, you can't read books. I lost a lot of friends and gained a, a lovely um, new group of people um, who, you know, just take me as I am. Hi, Kate, how are you doing? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad, how are you? I'm good. Did yeah. you see the latest news here about conference? No. Last year, Kate joined the board of Alzheimer's New Zealand. Her brother had been intellectually impaired and she'd enjoyed being part of the warm IHC community. That gave me a background where I knew that perhaps there would be a new community amongst the Alzheimer's um, grouping and that has happened. Um, and. I decided to become, um, or well, to try and get onto the board of Alzheimer's New Zealand and became the first person with dementia to be on the board. Yeah, it is slowly changing. Mm. And the more people yeah. hear about it and see it in their everyday life. That's right. I think that, they'll go that, towards it rather yep, than... That brings yeah. the changes, doesn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're a great advocate. <laughs> 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 Not really, it's lots of people, but yeah. Last year, Kate presented her perspective at an international conference in Berlin. It was just fantastic, really, to 
be with a international um, community of people involved in the same areas as I was now. As part of the conference, they had a time when all the people with dementia could go to one room and um, we'd all talk to each other, which we did. But um, when I first went to the room, it was all filled, filled with um, sort of fluffy um, toys and um, I just went, I was so angry at this. I mean, we were all adults and, um, you know, came from around the world and here was this fluffy sort of toys all around the place and I just said I'm not going into that room until it's um, made into a room for people that are adults and we will be talking to each other as adults. Thank you very much and walked out. <laughs> talking through grief and loss with a counsellor has helped Kate make the most of everyday activities. The friends that I have, I just get on and we just have a good time and um, and talk and do all the things that I, you know, I used to do, um, but, but not with the um, intellect that I used to have. Um, but somehow they seem to, you know, say that's fine. They they like helping a person, um, being with someone that is a little bit different and you know hasn't got quite as good a life as they have. So they're people perhaps that have got a bit more. Um, intelligence about um, things that are difficult. There is currently no cure for Alzheimer's, but some drug treatments can hold back its progression. Yes, so I'm on Aricept and that's extremely good. You can use Aricept right to the point actually till you die because um, as you know with dementia you can be very difficult as time goes on and Aricept apparently is very, very good for keeping you at a low level of um, distress, etc. So I want to make the most of my life um, day by day, and that seems to work extremely well for me. I love every minute of the day. I love looking at the sun. Um, I see a lot more um, around me than I think I used to, because everything is so important. There's so little time left. So, um, you know, just having a coffee with someone, um, going for a nice walk, um, playing my tennis, all of those things are just fantastic for me. And um, there's very little in my life now that um, is not fantastic. <laughs>